Oh my god, what's in the chest? What's in the chest? What the base? This is the fourth episode, which means I've officially fulfilled what I wanted to do by doing it for an entire month. Every week for an entire month. This is what we did in the previous episode, and genuinely this is like probably some of my favorite decoration I've like ever made in GD ever. Like I'm gonna be real, I'm really really proud of how this turned out. Like gameplay wise it's fun, deco wise it looks really cool. It's like pretty unique I think. I don't know, I'm really happy with it. Oh, with that preview mode it does not look nice. Okay, preview mode on please. <laughs> uh, so next we're getting into the where 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 where, which I reminded you guys to remind me, which some of you actually did remind me, so I appreciate that. I saw the comments, I saw the comments and that is to do a wave part where you go that's like i don't know how sight readable that is oh uh, who cares we could do stuff with camera controls if it isn't all right so i think the way i probably want to structure this part we're just jumping straight into the gameplay because i know what i want to do for the gameplay here wait hang on why did i set it to two times speed we're three times speed bro okay there we go now let's chuck in these slopes then okay and then i think maybe i can get away with chucking just like a little saw in there just a little guy maybe doing some slopes around like that i feel like that even fits a little bit better where it like slowly moves upwards so if i add in some slopes that like kind of enclose that quite tightly will that be too hard or will that be okay yeah it might be a bit of a choke point i don't know i can nerf it later who cares bro who cares i can nerf it later what a good mindset okay um let's chuck in a couple of these in here i think that could make for some interesting structuring and then i'm gonna be real i have no idea what i want to do for these structures up here wait 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 mm, so that top structure is a little bit bigger but what i can probably do is do like that yeah that honestly could work that's kind of interesting okay well this little bit of gameplay has been very easy to make i think i'm going to decorate this and then work on whatever the hell i want to do after this because i'm not really sure what i want that to be yet but i'll work it out i'll get there so these bits what do i want to do for these i wonder i want to use the warp tool because the warp tool is quite cool and mm, that kind of sticks off the edge there which i don't love what if i give these the like bright like whatever these pulsing groups have that's kind of interesting what if i do some like glow as well that kind of gives a nice pulsing effect downwards in a way which is neat Okay, and then what do I want to do for the rest of this? I kind of... Pixel blocks, pixel blocks. What about like this guy, perhaps? If I warp that as well. I'm just abusing the warp tool hard. Oh, that's the issue with the warp tool though. Hmm. Yeah, I need to incorporate the pixel blocks somewhere here because I feel like I've used the pixel blocks a lot with the rest of the level. I don't want to just like get rid of them. Maybe what if I do a similar effect to what I had there, but using these instead? That looks wild. I really like that actually. Actually. Yeah, I think that could actually work a little bit better than this top one. I kind of like that. I might want to not use the warp tool for the rest of filling this in. I kind of want to just use like regular slope blocks. I'm not sure which ones though. Like, uh, I don't know, man. My brain's not working this morning. I'm tired. <gasps> Rob added these back. Sometimes Rob Top is just like my favorite person in the entire whole wide world. These slopes exist with the lines again, dude. In Hellgates, I had to like copy them from an older level, but now they're just in the editor. It's funny, 2.2's been out for months, but I'm still, like, discovering new things like that. It's so awesome. You know what? Screw it. Just because this slope is, like, in the game now, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it right now. Let's get rid of these outlines down here. Screw these. Okay, cool. So I got those blocks in there. I feel like it kind of needs something a little bit more, though. Maybe, perhaps? What if I just put in some slopes like this? Okay, hear me out. 45 degree rotation. Scale it down to 0.5, probably. No, it needs to be a little bit bigger than that. There we go. Look at that. Boom. And that kind of gives it just a little shine there. And then maybe I can... What if I give it a pulsing color? Okay, yeah. This is still like a little bit basic, but I think it should be fine once we add in the rest of the deco for the part. Select all these bits, link them together so that we have an entire design here. And then I'm just going to copy paste that to like where all of these are here. All right. And then we need to make a smaller design for these. And then I kind of want to do like an upside down-ish design with these to chuck up here. It needs to be like that realistically. So I need to like, boom, boom. <laughs> this is a really goofy bit of glow that does not fit anywhere. Why is it so long, bro? It's just using scaling in like really weird ways, like scaling and warping. Just trying to figure out how to use them to my advantage. So hard, dude. It's so hard. And then what, what if I just give up and just do this? <laughs> and then I need to somehow do a little triangle here. Maybe I can get away with just doing like a spike. Okay, that fits a little bit better. It still looks really stupid, but it looks marginally better. It looks kind of stupid, but you know what? I might just run with it because 
because I don't know. I spent way too long making it to not run with it, bro. I, I'm using it. It honestly, okay, you know what? Fitting in with everything else, it doesn't look that stupid. That is why you need to just make stuff and run with it. You can make a really stupid looking design on its own look really, really good in context. And like that, that is so like important for creating, right? So if you make something and you're like, oh, I don't like the look of this. This looks really stupid. Just run with it and just keep going and see what you can do with it because it can turn out really, really cool. All right. Ooh, okay. I've just come up with a bit of an idea. What's a nice saw blade I could use for this? I think this would probably work the best like this one. And then have this spike sticking out, which just adds a little bit to the difficulty and kind of indicates what you could die to a little bit more, maybe? Yeah, I naturally click a little bit to the left. So what I could probably do is just rotate this and like have it sticking out towards the left a little bit more like that. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to do like duh. Duh, like that. And that just still doesn't really fit, does it? Reset that. And then what I can maybe do is shift it across like that, even? Yeah, that's a lot more in line with like where I naturally want to do the click pattern. I think that works. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys then. Okay, now I think we need to do a little bit more design here because this, this is kind of boring. So first things first, I might grab a square here, scale it down, not quite that much. You know what? I'm going to turn off increase scale because it annoys me. All right, uh, that square just kind of covers up the little hole in the middle nice and easily. Cool, and now I need to put something on the inside of there. What do I want to do? I feel like some of these would go kind of hard. Maybe I'll do a full one, and then just, yeah, once again, T3, so it's above everything, and then just scale it down. What if I make it black, and then give it the pulsing group of whatever pulse is white? Yeah, that's cool, but we need something a bit more in there. It's still a little bit basic, I guess. What about a little one of these? T3, that bad boy, scale it down, and then give that even, like, the pulsing groups. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm happy with that. All right, let's uh, copy that over then, I guess. All right, and there's one last little detail. I kind of want to do like a pulsing effect that pulses down on these. Could be quite cool. So, mm, will this look good if I just go to a new layer here and then just construct some of these out of these slopes like so? And then just give these, I think eight is black blending. Yeah, let's link that together. Copy, paste it down, unlink that, and then pachow. And then so I want to pulse those as the group here. Yeah, I'll pulse them white and then give them like a 0.5 fade out, maybe like a zero point. 0.05 fade in. Do something like this so you can kind of see it goes woof, 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 like that. It pulses downwards. That's kind of neat, yeah. And then I just put them on the top as well. So let's see how that looks. Makes it look a little bit more dynamic, yeah. Okay, now I've been putting it off. I've been putting it off for a while. You can see this transition not looking great. This transition, also not looking great. So I feel like I just need to work out what I want to do between these parts here. So first of all, let's see where that line goes. Like that. So I can get away with doing some form of maybe pillar structure there. Let's chuck a nice pillar right there. Why not, eh? And then for this along here, I might just grab four of these and then flip those around. And then I'll just chuck in a few of these like pillars here as well. And I'll do one more of these saw designs right there just to kind of chuck that in there. All right. And then you know what? Let's grab this arrow here. That's absolutely not narrow. Place that about in the center there, yeah. But instead of doing exclamation marks, I want to do a smiley face. And then because there's three objects in there, I can copy the values of that, paste it there. Copy the values of that, paste him there. And then I can copy paste that guy again. So now you can see the smiley face in there. Woohoo! And then I'll scale him up a little bit just so it's like, yeah, just chuck a little guy in there. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Then I might just grab one slice of these slopes here just to incorporate that design a little little bit more because I feel like it's boring without having it, right? I might just bring that down there and then maybe we can chuck another one of those like glowy sphere things. Literally just kind of trying to fill in the space a bit more, right? That's pretty much exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I like that. I think that works. Okay. This part does need a little bit more though. I feel like it's a little bit boring. Maybe we need some like indicators. What if, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's use music notes. Why not, dude? They're a classic. I'm going to scale that down to 0.5. Just give that background blending, I think. I'm almost tempted to leave those as player color even. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to do player color. Leave a little, bro. Got to alternate it between player one and player two because I think that would be kind of neat. What does that look like in normal mode? I have a feeling that's going to look really goofy, especially since they don't pop. Why don't they pulse? What? Okay, so you know how normally in levels, orbs are meant to pulse with the music? Yeah, these music notes are meant to do the same, but they kind of aren't. <laughs> and I sat around for ages trying to work out why this happened, and it turns out that the reason is because I used custom enter and exit effects. Yeah, so see this cool effect like at the edge of the screen here where everything kind of inverts upon itself? I achieved that using this trigger here, where you can create your own custom enter and exit effects. And this is actually a really cool trigger. I actually really like what you 
you can do with it, but unfortunately it turns out that for some reason using any of them just completely breaks all the pulses in the level. I have absolutely no idea why that's the case, but it just kind of is, so unfortunately I had to delete those. But the good news is that area scale exists, so I was able to recreate this effect using a couple area scale triggers and giving everything a group. Now the only problem is that every time I went to playtest in the editor, it would take a really long time to start playing. Well, not a really long time, but like a few seconds, and it was throwing me off, like I wasn't able to playtest the level, so I just disabled them for now. But yeah, after finally fixing that, the music notes were finally pulsing once again. But I still decided this part needed a little bit more, so I decided to try a bit of an experimental effect. An experimental effect that didn't end up working out, but I feel like I could use it in other parts of the level, so I want to show you. <laughs> Essentially, I grabbed this fireball object and warped it really, really high vertically. Then I took it, copy pasted it, and flipped it around, and it actually created a really cool looking effect. I gave it a couple of the pulsing colors, chucked it on top of these structures, but I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. But I just decided to move on to the next part for now, and I'll deal with it later. Okay, well, I might chuck a dash orb here, because I feel like a dash orb would be kind of fitting. And then maybe into a ball portal, where it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, you know what? No, screw ball, dude. Let's do swing copter. I haven't done a swing copter part yet. May as well. So I might do just like a control swing copter part in here. Could be interesting. Ah, oh, it's got to be a bit harder than that. Go on. Boom. And chuck a big saw there, maybe. Like, I just want to do some like really tight swing copter control. Not too tight, obviously. Wouldn't want this level to be too hard, but I want it to be kind of hard, you know? Maybe up there and then you become mini. So then I'll do something like this, this, and then maybe one of them or even a big one. <laughs> that, oh. Okay, I kind of want to redo this gameplay a little bit because I feel like it's not interesting enough. And it doesn't really line up with where I want it to line up, right? So what if I do something like this where you have to go through there and then back up? Could be interesting. And then maybe you go up here and land in a spider part where you go straight down onto a pad, perhaps? Or maybe even instead of that, I'll put a spider orb here and then that puts you into a spider portal down here. Oh, that's cool, actually. Okay. Dude, this level's so much fun. All right, so I think we should probably start structuring this part up a little bit. Mm, what if I grab one of these, flip it upside down, and then we can half space it there, and then like kind of chuck that down the bottom there? So the structure is kind of coming out of that floating one. Ooh, that could be kind of cool. I kind of like the idea of that, because I want to reuse these structures a little bit, because it would be kind of lame if we only use them in that one wave part. Or I think it would be lame, because I spent a while designing them, all right? Just saying. Um, I could probably turn these into pillars, chuck another one like right here type thing, like, you know, just a couple pillars to separate it out a little bit. And then we can also do some nice ground spikes, I think would work quite well. Yes, it would. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good, honestly. I could also like stack these up a little bit, could work. Just so that they're like, I don't know, it kind of brings in the design from the previous part a little bit as well. Yeah, I really like that actually. I like how that's incorporated quite a lot. And then maybe for these, I can do their own structures like that. Yeah. I want to focus a lot more on connector deco for this part. I feel like we could do some cool connector deco. Maybe even, ooh, if I grab one of these guys here, right? But kind of chuck that in there so you can kind of see how that like pulses with everything, right? And chuck some of these like squares on them. They kind of fit perfectly, actually. Those are really nice. Oh, I didn't expect that to look so nice. It needs a bit more though. It needs a little bit more. I'm tempted to do some of these like pulsing squares here. They are absolutely not squares. Those are circles if ever I've seen a circle, but yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, so I've added a few more connectors in there, and honestly, I like how that looks. Are they a little bit overbearing? Maybe, but that's okay. That's all right, you know? Something else that I kind of want to do. Let me delete this, and then let me chuck that there. And I've seen a few people do this, and that is to grab, like, these, for example, right? I'll make the detail black blending, and then use that as an outline. I saw um, Zeronium was playing Sand Sailor, and I've seen, like, a few other levels that do that, and I think it looks really cool, actually. And that's, like, really really, really weird, but also kind of cool. What I might also do is not give that black blending, but actually give that a color on the inside, maybe three, just to kind of fill in the rest of that, right? There we go. So now we've got like an object there and then I can put something on the inside of there. Maybe some form of pixel thing. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, even like that, chuck that straight down the middle and then put another, like maybe one of these that's on, I guess one, one, but like a bit darker. Just give that a group of one, nine, two, and then chuck that behind all of those. And then I'll give that like an area scale. Okay, I finally got that effect kind of working. It doesn't look amazing, but it, it, it exists. 
All right, so it's the next day and I've had a little bit of time to reflect, just a little bit. And the first thing I think I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to get rid of these. They look so dumb. They look bad. I, they look goofy, which is like kind of good for this context, but they don't look good. Like they just look bad, bro. And I want to have something that kind of goes through the back of these. I think honestly, we just need a bit of a better background. I also have just realized I haven't done any background pulses here. God, I've been doing that so much. So we've got one pulse that goes there and then just nothing, 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 nothing. So that'll make it look a lot nicer as well. Uh, yeah, I should do that before the background. All right, let's do that then. Yeah, I really like that. It feels a bit messy, like it's kind of all over the place, but I like it. I like that. Okay, and then for the background, I kind of want to have some form of like pillar looking thing that goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Actually, we kind of already did a pillar thing for the arrows, didn't we? A really cool, like huge rotating thing in the back of these could be really, really cool. If I take like two of these squares like so, I'm going to half space those. I should be able to copy paste these, rotate them that way, and then just kind of create a huge circle by doing this, and it just about lines up perfectly. Okay, nice. So we got a big circle here. Chuck that on B4 so it's below everything, and you can kind of see it pokes through the back there, but I want to give that, like, black or something. Yeah, okay, and now I want to have some, like, uh, not spokes, but something sticking off the side of it. I feel like there's got to be one of these objects that would be cool looking for that, right? What if I use this moon, scale it up, and then rotate it, kind of stick that on the edge, make sure it's below low and then I can kind of rotate those whoops okay I guess we're doing it this way then like that type of thing and then I'll give those a group of 193 and then 193 can rotate around itself for like ever that looks weird but kind of cool actually kind of neat yeah this is starting to explore the goofiness we were missing dude this yeah this is what we we're missing it needs a little bit more doesn't it what can I chuck in there that kind of rotates around what about like bones if I chuck a bone in there and then rotate that 45 boom half space it. Could kind of chuck those in there. I don't like how it peeks through that though. I might have to put some backing blocks behind these though. I don't really want to. I really don't want to, but I might have to. And these backing blocks are just going to be really simple. Like I'm literally going to give these, I think three is kind of the color that goes in the background. And then I'll put that on like B3 maybe. <gasps> Oh, dude, I was worried it was going to look terrible, but it looks so much cooler. Dude, those structures look so much more solid and so much more awesome. These need to be on B2 then, I guess. And I'll even make sure that they're not lower brightness now that they go behind. It kind of like, I don't know, looks a little bit nicer. Okay, well, let's, uh, I'm going to hide the middle object there. And then I'm going to select all of these, select all of the bones as well. And I'm going to put them on a new group, 195, and just rotate them around. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. I think that looks a little bit nicer. So let's start those off like back here. Well, what I kind of want to do next then is I want to do a similar thing and make like another ring on the inside. And then I might even select this outer ring here and then kind of scale it down to chuck it on the inside just so that it's not as like intrusive, I guess. So I'll copy that and then I'll scale it down to be like on the inside there. And then I'll even chuck some of these moons on the inside and then give this inner one a different group and rotate it the other way. Is it bad that I kind of want to just take the whole thing and scale it up? I might do that. If I just increase scale here, select all of that, select all of that, and then just... <laughs> it's so... Oh my god, it's so goofy. But you know what? That fits in with the rest of the level, so I like it. These note things look a little bit strange, like contrasting and kind of layering on with those. So I might go ahead and if I go grab one of these like pulsing circles, scale it down. Not that's my Get out of here. Chuck it there. Maybe make it a little bit bigger and then make that, I guess, black. Just gives it a bit of separation from the background, you know, because the background's pretty like in your face, but I don't really mind that too much. I just want there to be a bit of separation there. And I think that does that pretty well. And then maybe what I can even do is like copy paste, scale it up, make that like three, but a bit brighter, maybe hue shift a little bit. And then of course, lower the Z order layer. And then we can just kind of chuck that there. It looks kind of weird. Like it, I don't know. It's very like new age thing to do, right? To kind of separate it in that way. Nah, it looks good. I'm keeping that. All right. Well, I'm super happy with how this part has turned out then. I think I'm going to call that complete, call that finished. And now this part. Oh boy, this part. I think this can be improved a little bit just with a little bit of glow. I'm not going to lie. This little swing copter thing is really hard. I thought maybe it wouldn't be too bad because like, you know, oh, we're still like all improving with swing copter or whatever. No, it's impossible, bro. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. Kind of would like to use... I think there's a lava that doesn't have that like popping emote. 
emoji that popping animation like does that one just kind of yeah see kind of these ones like pop bubbles and this one just kind of goes along i kind of want to use the one that just kind of goes along all right and now i just got to repeat that design for the rest of these pretty much yeah dude i really like that okay the way that these scale with the player i wasn't too sure about at first but i actually really like how that's turned out all right so now it's monday and yeah, I didn't keep up with the weekly upload schedule. I'm sorry, I tried. Uni started back up again. I won't be able to do this weekly anymore, unfortunately. But that is okay, because it is time to finish off this part real quick. Yes. So first of all, saw blade designs. I think I want to pretty much just repeat the design we have over here. I think this works pretty well. I do like it. I would like to add a little bit of glow to it, though, I think. Yeah, that gives a really interesting vibe to that. I like that. Okay, let's grab that then, and let's chuck that on all of these. And then, of course, we need to make a bigger one to cover these saws here. And now I feel like I need to do just a little bit more here to kind of indicate that that's where you need to go. Maybe I can do like that even. Oh, that's kind of evil though. Maybe what I can do is if I select all of these, because my issue is that it's way too easy to skip this uh, teleport orb here. Teleport orb? That's not what it's called. It's called a spider orb. Yeah, it's way too easy to skip that. So what I might do is chuck a pillar here and then give that a group and move that out of the way once you get there. I'll ease in out and do that in like 0 0.2 or something. Not even, like 0 0.1. <laughs> and then and then I'll make that touch trigger, of course. So whenever you touch this bottom platform, then that should move out of the way. Does that work? That's kind of hard. It does work, but ooh. Oh, <laughs> that's also an issue. <laughs> Just to make it more fair, I kind of want to scale up that orb a little bit. Does that look stupid? Probably. I also think instead of doing that, what I'll do is let me actually just turn touch trigger off and just make that spawn trigger. And then we can give that a new group and then just give it like a toggle orb here. Okay. And now for these blocks in here, I almost, yeah, you know what? I'm going to recycle this design. <laughs> you know what they say? Reduce, reuse, recycle. I'm doing plenty of that. Oh yeah. I don't know. I just don't want like, this is all essentially one part. Like the part starts here and it's going to end like about there, right? This is all kind of one part. It just has a bunch of designs that kind of amalgamate together and it kind of shifts and evolves over time, which is kind of how I want to approach it. Instead of having like direct cuts in the part where it rapidly changes the design, you know, I don't really want to do that. Wham, bam, just like so. And then that'll kind of create a structure like that. Let's link that together and let's chuck that like up there. It kind of looks a bit goofy with the connector deco around the place, but honestly, I think it fits. I think it works. So now, now I want to do some ground spikes. We didn't have any ground spikes in this part or really in this part we had a little bit here but I want to do a different design but I feel like I haven't done ground spikes in a while so I kind of want to I don't know I don't know what I want to do for them yet fully I think I'm going to start with a base thing of black and I might actually chuck them everywhere but lay them behind everything just to make my life a bit easier especially with these things here and now I want to do some things sticking up from it so first of all what if I do some of like these sticking out from there and then yeah I'll do player color yes oh of course I wanted to incorporate the player color a little bit more because I feel like it would be kind of weird if I didn't considering I already used the player color, right? I don't want it to overlap the connector deco particularly, so I'll be like relatively sparing with it, but I think it could be quite neat. And we need something a bit more for the base. Maybe I can use some bricks. If I chuck some bricks in here that are just like background blending, just inoffensive, just to give it a bit of like a base layer decoration, you know, because otherwise it looks kind of weird having like just the black ground spikes in there. I like to have a little bit more to kind of add to that, you know? And plus this combination gives like a nice 1.9 feel, which I kind of like. So yeah, I'm going to run with that. All right, cool, cool. And I want to have something kind of pulsing down there. And you know, I'm tempted to do like, I don't know, some monsters. I've done no monsters yet. Oh my God. I didn't think I'd ever see the day where I build a tried level with no monsters in it. That can't exist. If I make that black, but then give that, I think it's 138, which will like pulse white. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to finish this spider part in today. I think I'm just going to cut it off mostly there. And then that'll be like the start of next episode, I think. Which means all we have left to do for this part really is a background. A background. What do I want to do for a background then? Hmm. What if, okay, I don't know where this idea came from. Some recess of my brain. But what if I go to this layer here, right? And let's chuck down some of these brick objects and do a formation maybe like that type of thing could be interesting and then what i can do is i can use rotate triggers to kind of do 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 
with like a bounce out easing could be interesting. Yeah, okay, let's do something like this, right? Where we have some, in essence, I guess, kind of cog wheels. And let me actually just make one of these objects real quick. It's almost too much detail though. I don't really love that. Maybe I could just straight up do it with regular blocks. So let's grab these, let's scale that up. That's kind of cool, yeah. I like that a lot better. Just with the bricks, it was just a bit over detailed, I think. So let's grab that. Let's grab a block in the center and then I'll give that group 200. We reached group 200, let's go. So then 200 around 201. I want to rotate that by like 45 and then do a bounce out easing like so. And then I'll do like maybe 0.3. So that's rotating. Now, if I grab that, I'm going to copy paste that build helper. It needs to be at an angle, like maybe there kind of works. Yeah. Make sure those are in the center. And then I want to move these rotations to all be in line, right? But I want half of them to be negative. So they kind of like mesh together, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Oh, I really like that. Okay. What I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to give them a group and then make them spawn triggered and then just chuck them on like a spawn loop that's spawn ordered, of course, because screw delay, bro. Spawn ordered is where it's at. Yes, dude. Oh my God. It just adds a little bit in the background. Nothing like obtrusive, nothing too insane, just something to kind of be there and add a little bit of extra movement, you know? And then of course, I want to select all of these. I want to give them a group of 209 and I want 209 to move as a background. All right, cool. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and pretty much call that part complete. I just need to do some background pulses and yeah, we're pretty much done. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just looking at it and honestly, this part looks a little bit more cluttered, like especially this with all the connected deco, but also this part looks a lot more cluttered than back here. But honestly, I think that's okay. I think that's all right. I'm not going to worry about that too much because again, this level is just kind of me letting loose a lot more. Like I'm just kind of trying to build how I want to build, you know, without like stressing about it it too much, you know? If it doesn't look amazing, I can always go back and change it later. However it turns out is how it turns out, and I am happy with however it turns out, so yeah. Alright, cool. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to end this episode off here. This has taken quite a long time to make, I'm not gonna lie. A long time days-wise, just because I have uni at the moment. Again, probably not gonna be doing this weekly anymore, I'm sorry, but I can only do it as often as I can, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'm really happy with what we got done today. Pretty much two parts in one, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's do a showcase of this then. All right, there we go. Um, my secrets have been revealed also with that end ball. Yes, I did use no clip for that showcase. So it was hard, man. It's getting hard. It's probably going to be like hard insane, maybe even extreme demon. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, anyway, I've also put in a lot of attempts just play testing it. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end this one off here. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying the series as well. But yeah, I'm going to end this one off here. Thank you so much for watching and huge thank you to all the members as always, especially if you do really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And um, yeah. I'm going to end this one off here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Whoa.